What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We are back on the sofa today to have another discussion. And today I want to talk about my five keys of weight loss and specifically fat loss. Now, please keep in mind, this is going to be based on my personal experience going from 265 pounds to 199 pounds uh, last year from February to December of 2022. And I lost um, 65 pounds, mostly of fat. I did my best to maintain as much muscle mass as possible by going to the gym, eating enough protein and calories to sustain my lean body weight. And I think that's also something to keep in mind is that fat loss should always be the goal instead of just blanket term weight loss, because it is important to keep muscle mass and connective tissue and bone density as high as you can. Now I'm going to coincide these five keys of fat loss exactly to the five W's, which is something that we all learn in elementary school, which is who, what, where, when, and why. So the first W and the first key is who, who exactly are you doing this for? Are you doing this for, uh, you know, your partner or someone that you want to attract? Are you in a group of friends that are maybe bullying you a little bit or teasing you about your weight? Um, who exactly are you doing this for? Because if you're not doing it for yourself, then you're not doing it for the right reasons, in my opinion. I never took my weight loss seriously until I really had to have a look at myself in the mirror, physically and you know metaphorically, and be like, man, you are like 60 pounds plus overweight, and uh, you're literally obese. Like if you're going by the BMI scale, like you know being 5'9", uh, 25 years old at the time, and 265, like this is not good, and you're headed down a uh, path of heart disease, um, cardiovascular issues, uh, you know, diabetes, like you're headed down a really bad path and you need to make a drastic change or else you're not going to be able to play with your grandkids in the future. Um, you're not going to be able to do, you know, just the things that what life really is all about. I think that you have to really understand who you're doing this for. And if it's not, if it doesn't have enough substance behind it, it's not going to be as easy to stick to, you know, you're going to lose motivation along the way. I've lost motivation during my journey plenty of times. And, uh, this is while I, you know, accomplish my goals. I've lost, uh, some motivation some days, but you know, my true reasons, my, my reasons that stem from deep within myself were, um, strong enough to where I could rely on discipline instead of just motivation to be able to get to those goals and continue now getting, you know, striving towards my goals. Uh, but if you are doing this for reasons that aren't good enough, um, they're not going to hold up over time, unfortunately. Now, once you've established who you're doing this for, and it should be yourself, um, what, what is going to be your method? What is going to be the way that you're going to accomplish this task or this goal that you have for yourself? Um, are you going to uh, do like spinning classes? Are you going to lift weights? Are you going to just be a cardio bunny at the gym? You know, just be on the cardio machine all day long. What is going to be the method, your vehicle to this destination? You have to do the research to find out what exactly is going to be the best way for you. Like what you enjoy doing. If you enjoy running, do you not enjoy running? Do you enjoy lifting? Do you not enjoy lifting? Um, and you know, the, the reality behind it too, is that you're not going to really want to always be on this journey. There's going to be days where you don't want to do it. And that is something you have to get used to in the same way that maybe you have to get used to doing some things that you don't like doing, like maybe doing some cardio. If you are a person that just likes lifting weights, you might have to get used to doing some cardio. You might not like it, but Hey, that's part of the job. That is going to be a tool that is going to get you to this destination. And you have to, you know, really make use of all the tools available, because if you don't, you're not going to be as efficient as possible and you are going to take longer and it's going to be harder than it should be really. So use all the tools, look into all the methods, you know, lift weightlifting is great, you know, just for uh, gaining muscle, which helps with your body recomposition. Uh, it also burns a lot of calories when if you're lifting weights vigorously. Um, there's so many benefits to lifting weights. There's so many benefits to cardio. Obviously, everyone knows that cardio is a great tool and has been for many, 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 like since the beginning of time, man. Like, imagine like, you know, freaking uh, cavemen like running and hunting for their, their food. You know, those guys were probably all in amazing shape because they're doing cardio all day long. So um, the third key and the third W is going to be where. Now I'm not talking about are you going to be training at home versus at the gym versus whatever. Like you can use common sense and logic to figure out for yourself, you know, where you're going to train. But what I'm talking about is where are you in your life at the moment? You know, do you have kids? Are you single living at home with your parents still? 
Are you living with a large family in a house? Like, what what place are you at in life? You know, are you 50 years old? Maybe are you 60 years old? You can't obviously train with the same vigor if you're 60 years old that an 18 year old could train. Uh, you have to really uh, think about where you are in your fitness journey, in your life journey. Um, you know, if you're 300 pounds uh, and you're five eight. You probably can't just jump on, you know, a spinning bike and do like an hour at like 150 BPM. You know? uh, you're probably going to have to start really slow and work your way up to something. You know, like if you're very fit already and you want to make do a mini cut, you might be, you know, leaps and bounds ahead of others. And in terms of like how vigorous you can train, uh, but either way, you have to figure out where you are in your life. You know, what are your surroundings? What's your environment like? These things are all very important to dictate how you can train when you can train whether you can have a gym membership or whether you need a home gym like there's so many variables at play when it comes to where you are in your life and how that's going to translate into the way that you can train and for anyone that has kids i'm sure you know exactly what this is like i don't but i have others in my life around me that you know are starting like new families that have kids and started uh, that journey in life and it's, it's awesome to see but um, I see that they don't have the same time anymore that they did when you know they were it was just them and their partner or when they were single. The other quick point I want to make with where you are in your life is are you able to focus on yourself and give yourself some love and attention? Because if you are constantly worrying and looking after other people and you have no time for yourself, you are probably not going to be able to su successfully um, achieve a weight loss or a fat loss journey because it is very difficult, requires yourself being a little selfish at times to focus on your needs, um, your, you know, your food, uh, preparing your food, um, making time to go to the gym. Like there are certain variables at play that are uh, going to demand your time and attention for yourself. And if you have no time or attention for yourself, you have to make that change first. Um, so you need to also get that covered, make sure that you're focusing on yourself. And that does depend on where you are in your life. The fourth key and the fourth W is going to be when. Now, you need to set a start date, but you cannot set a finish date. This is my opinion. This is what worked for me. When I started my weight loss journey, I told myself on this day, and it was very close to when I made the decision, by the way, you don't want to say, I want to lose weight and then choose a month in advance to start. Because then what's going to happen is you're going to go crazy. You're going to binge. You're going to be like, oh, I'm starting my cut on my weight loss uh, journey on this date. So all the way up until then, I have as much time as I want to eat as much as I want and just get it out of my system. Getting it out of your system does not work. Okay. All that does is make you reliant on that stuff. And all it does is make you more addicted to whatever the bad stuff is that you're doing, whether it's habits or foods or whatever it is, it's just going to make your journey that much more difficult. And you're setting yourself back even more for starting. If I make the decision, say that I want to go on a weight loss journey, I'm setting that date tomorrow or like the next two days from now, like it's not going to be a month in advance or two weeks from now, or, you know, first day of spring so that you can then get ready for summer. No, it's going to be very soon after this decision is made, you have to, you have to just commit. The second part is don't set a finish line because what this does is puts you into a time constraint that then makes it very difficult to accomplish your goals. And if you notice that you're not on trend or on track to reach that goal, you're going to lose motivation and you're going to get disappointed in yourself. You're going to beat yourself up and you can't turn back the clock. It's impossible. All you can do is extend that finish line. And then if you constantly feel like you're always extending it, you're just not reaching any goals. You're just taking a bunch of steps backwards. It feels like focus on consistency, slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Do not race to this finish line. Weight loss is a marathon. You guys will see that quote probably online or other places like, um, you know, bodybuilding is a marathon, like weight loss is a marathon. All of these things take time and they take dedication and consistency. It's not something that you want to rush because if you do rush, you are going to make compromises and these aren't going to be compromises that you're going to necessarily want to make. Like you might compromise on some muscle loss by losing weight too quickly. You know, you are burning through your fat stores, but then you're also burning through your muscle stores as well, which is not what you want to do. It took me 10 months to lose, you know, the weight that I wanted to lose. I could have said, you know, I'm going to lose 65 pounds in five months, or I could have said, I want to be ripped and shredded by summer, but guess what? That was not going to happen. 
There's no way. It took me longer than I thought it would by going from February to December. I had this sort of loose goal in my head that I wanted to do it by my birthday, which was November 14th. And I was still about 10, 12 pounds away at that point um, from my goal. So my advice is definitely set a start date very close to when you make the decision. So again, like tomorrow or the next day and uh, commit, commit 100%, no compromise on that. But don't set an end date, don't set a finish line. If you're doing this for the rest of your life, uh, to be healthy for the rest of your life, to be mobile and agile and, and, and feel just better for the rest of your life, why, why set such a harsh deadline on that? You know, uh, life is a marathon and fitness and, and health is a part of that journey. So guys, the fifth and final key is going to be why. Why do you really need to do this? What are your motivations? What are your inspirations? Um, what are your key purposes? And this kind of relates back to who, you know, the first point is, who are you doing this for? Why are you doing this? These are kind of like interchangeable, but I think you can clearly say that who is gonna be, you're doing this for you. And then why is, what are the reasons you're doing this for yourself? So, you know, do you struggle with self-loathing? Do you struggle with insecurities? Obviously, you know, if you're losing weight, weight is gonna be an insecurity. I can say that from experience. It still is to me today, even though I'm in much better shape than when I was when I started my weight loss journey last year. Um, I still have insecurities and I probably always will because I'll always be that sort of fat guy at heart, I think, you know, um, that's just the way I think of myself at times. It's, it's always going to be, I think, part of my, my journey. Um, so, you know, look into your insecurities, look into, you, uh, are you not loving yourself? You know, it, it, is that something that you need to talk to a therapist about? You know, um, there's, there's things that you need to really tap into to find out your motivations and and you also need to get um inspiration you know from from different sources you know social media there's a lot of downsides to it but there's also some positives you know like getting some inspiration from key figures that maybe you like like for me you know chris bumstead is definitely an inspiration um you know there's other bodybuilders that i look up to who i don't necessarily want to look like or think i can ever look like but you know they are it is motivating and it's a tool that i have so that's not my why, but that is a tool that I use as inspiration. Um, you know, I love bodybuilding, so that that is a why for me. You know, bodybuilding in itself is a why. I love it. You know, it's it's. I love the sport. I love you know going to the gym and lifting the weights. Um, that is why I do this. Um, I'm doing this for again my myself. You know, I'm doing this for my longevity, my my health, my my future children and grandchildren. Like I'm doing this for a lot of reasons and also mental health. You know, I'm doing this for, um, you know, my mental clarity, just the, 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 all the benefits that, you know, being in better shape has hormonally um, and just having, you know, a purpose outside of just going to work and coming home and laying on the couch and watching TV. Uh, there's a lot of whys that you can find as to why you should do this. And you have to look within yourself to find those and it's only be, going to be able to come from you. Like I said, going back to the first point of who are you doing this for? You cannot, your whys cannot be related to other people. They have to be related to you. That's the only way that you're going to be successful on this journey. Again, that's just my opinion based on my experience. So again, why do you really need to do this? Figure that out for yourself. And that's going to be a huge motivating factor in your weight loss and fat loss journey. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that these five keys, who, what, where, when, and why, I really hope that these five keys are gonna help you in your journey to a weight loss goal or uh, even a bodybuilding goal or whatever your goals are. Um, I really hope that this is gonna be able to add some, some value to your life and really hope that you got something out of this video. And if you did, please be sure to like the video because that would really support me and I'd really appreciate it. But make sure to comment down below if you guys have any points that you wanna add to this video feel free to comment down below i'd love to hear all of you know these points that i listed who what where when and why and please be sure to comment down below i'd love to hear it and if you guys are enjoying this content please subscribe to the channel i have content on weight loss on strength training on uh, adventure stuff that i'm just doing in my life um you know highlights of, of life basically with my friends and family so please be sure to subscribe to the channel i would really appreciate it Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.